welcome back to Lavendaire. It's Eileen. So if you follow my Instagram, then you know that I am obsessed with my new plant. It's a fiddle leaf fig that I've named Lila. Anyway, today I thought I'd share some of the best indoor plants that you could get for your home that will look beautiful, aesthetic, but also purify the air in your home. So it's a win-win situation. I just did some basic research and handpicked some of the best looking ones, in my opinion, and easy to take care of ones because I'm still a plant beginner. Most of these are on NASA's list for the best house plants to purify the air and the other ones I chose just because they're so aesthetic you see them on Pinterest and Instagram and they're just too beautiful to not include on this list please note that some of these plants may be toxic so it's not recommended if you have pets or small children who might eat them so in this video I'll be sharing some basic info on all the plants but there will be more info details and links down below so check that out all right so let's start with my fiddle leaf fig the fiddle leaf fig is known for its large, glossy, violin-shaped leaves. It's an interior design favorite and you can find it literally all over Pinterest and interior design blogs. Mine is a small one, but these grow really tall and I love that they look like a whimsical tree out of a Dr. Seuss story. So these fiddle leaf figs love bright and indirect sunlight and you know when to water it when you stick your finger in the soil and the top one inch is dry. So I usually water mine once or twice a week depending on the season. I also take a microfiber cloth to wipe any dust off of the leaves maybe once a week or so so that the leaves can absorb the sunlight better. Fiddle leaf figs love humidity, so because it's dry in California, I take the time to mist the leaves every morning. If you have a humidifier, you can also use that to regulate the humidity in your room. The leaves will grow towards the light, so if you want your plant to grow evenly, you should rotate it whenever you notice it's leaning in one direction. Proper drainage is also very important to prevent root rot, which is when the roots sit in water for too long. I just got this self-watering planter from Target, so if there's any extra water, it just flows in to the reservoir on the bottom but if you have a pot without holes I recommend putting rocks and pebbles at the bottom of the pot under the soil so that any extra water will flow into the rocks and not stay in the soil Okay, so because I'm not a plant hoarder yet, we'll have to go out and find those other plants together. But before we go, I wanna take a moment to thank Ecosia for sponsoring this video. So Ecosia is a search engine that plants trees with its profits. So you plant trees just by searching the web, which is so cool. It's one of the most privacy-friendly search engines out there and is 100% powered by renewable energy and 100% CO2 neutral. Through Ecosia, the profits from this video will go towards supporting Tree People, a California-based forest restoration organization. So the more people who watch and share this video and start using Ecosia, the more trees will be planted around LA. How awesome is that? So start using Ecosia by clicking that link down below. All right, let's go. <laughs> First, I decided to go to a local plant shop that is the cutest place. The first plant that caught my eye is another one of my favorites. It is the Monstera Deliciosa. This plant also goes by other names such as window leaf or Swiss cheese plant. And of course, you see it's known for its unique leaves with those beautiful cutouts and splits. I actually have an artwork of this plant in my living room because I love the shape so much. This one's a younger one, but these plants can grow up to be so beautiful and make a big statement in your home. Similar to the fiddle leaf fig, they like indirect sunlight and you also have to mist the plant and wipe dust off of its leaves occasionally. There were so many cute plants at the shop, but I'll wait to show you them in order along with the ones that I found at the next spot. So let's go to the next location. So I basically hit jackpot at this next spot. I found all of the plants that were on my list, all but one, and so I spent a good like couple hours here filming each of the plants. Let's start, shall we? First, let's talk about peace lilies. The peace lily is a super easy to care for, medium-sized plant known for its fresh lily flower and beautiful leaves. They're on NASA's top list of plants that purify the air because they're known to reduce the levels of toxins in the air. My mom actually has one of these plants. You've seen it in my How to Meditate video or my Back to Basics series. Peace lilies do well in shade and cooler temperatures, and they also tolerate low humidity. This makes them great for dry areas or apartments that get less natural lighting. What's cute and convenient is that their leaves will droop if they're thirsty and perk up again after watering. 
Next is the snake plant, also known as mother-in-law's tongue. These plants are so popular, you've probably seen them on Pinterest or Instagram. They have this clean structure, so it goes really well with a minimalist vibe. Snake plants don't need much light or water to survive, so they're great for beginners. They basically grow anywhere, and they're an easy choice for any corner of your home. They're also on NASA's list of air purifying plants. This plant absorbs carbon dioxide and releases oxygen during the night, while most plants do that during the day. So you could put one in your bedroom for an oxygen boost at night. Moving on to the golden pothos, also known as devil's ivy. These are a fast growing vine, so they're great for hanging baskets. But if you don't want to hang them, you can also put them on a shelf and let the leaves hang down, or put them on a table and let the leaves spill over onto the table. I love the cute heart-shaped leaves and the different varieties of variegated leaves, which means just the marbling on the leaf. It's so beautiful. Next is this Chinese evergreen plant with its beautiful leaves. These plants are also very easy to take care of. They thrive in low light and will grow in places where other plants won't grow. Because they're tropicals, they do like humid air. So if your air is too dry, their tips might start turning brown. So you want to miss the leaves occasionally. They also do a great job filtering out a variety of air pollutants. And if you care for them right, they can live for 10 years or more. Next, we have the spider plant, another very common, very easy to grow plant. So most of the plants on this list are toxic for pets and small children. The spider plant is not, so this is a safe house plant if you have pets or children in the house. Spider plants thrive in cool to average home temperatures and prefer dry soil. They also like bright and indirect sunlight, so keep them close to a window. Now let's talk about the rubber tree. This tree has big, dark green, shiny leaves that definitely make a statement. To me, they're like the perfect minimalist structured plant to have in your home, especially if you don't want things to be too colorful. They also like bright and indirect light, and keep in mind, these trees can also grow pretty large. Here we have aloe vera, another one of NASA's top air purifying plants. This is an easy care succulent that has elongated leaves. Aloe vera actually has a history of being used for medicinal purposes, dating back to ancient Egypt. The gel inside of the aloe plant can help heal cuts and burns and has multiple other benefits too. Aloe vera loves full sunlight, so it's a great choice for a sunny kitchen window. Lastly, succulents are super cute and super easy plants to bring into your home. There are so many different varieties, so I'm just gonna be general here. Succulents love bright and direct sunlight and you barely need to water them. They're the lowest maintenance plants on this list. You can basically neglect them and they'll still be okay. All right, so after filming the plants yesterday, I could not come home empty-handed. So I just wanna show you my little plant haul. I got two of these pothos. I think they're so gorgeous because of the variegated leaves, which means it's like marbled looking. And then I also got this guy. This is an aloe and I've named him Mr. Aloe Black and I've named the two plants the Gemini Twins. I really couldn't decide which one to get, so I decided to come home with two. I might give one away or I might keep both, still haven't decided. But I hope you enjoyed this video about plants. I hope it inspired you to bring some life into your home. And don't forget to check out Ecosia for a search engine that plants trees. Everything's down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.